Hi everyone, Paco Polit here and this is La Liga Lowdown. If you love Spanish football, you're in exactly the right place. Thanks a lot for subscribing to this channel and supporting us. If you haven't done it already, please do it now. And here's another reason why. We went to speak to Levante fullback Shaq Moore, where I am, here in Valencia. He told us about settling into life in Spain, what it was like to make his debut, how tough it was to defend against Lionel Messi, and what he made of Fias, which is happening right now in the city. Here is our chat with Shaq. Enjoy. Well, I was playing with the national team, and uh, we had a tournament in Las Palmas. And um, yeah, we played against, you know, good teams, Argentina, Spain, and um, I actually did really well. So from then, the interest started to, to come up a little bit. And uh, for me, I went to Levante, and then after that, I went to Huracan. So then I ended up coming back to Levante, you know, last year, so. Oof, hola and si. <laughs> and after that, well, the little things like gracias and all that, but it was, I didn't know a word. It was definitely crazy, but after you know I learned it and, and it was good. What about swearing? Swearing? Oh, oh, that too, that too. The bad words, of course. You know, I don't want to say it because you know there's people, you know, but yeah, <laughs> the bad words, of course. You know, that was that's always the first kind of stuff you kind of you kind of learn. So. I would say like an eight and a half. Yeah, really. Like an eight and a half. Yeah. I'm going to ask her. <laughs> ask them, they'll tell you. No, they might lie to you actually. They might lie to you, but they know I'm like the translator of the team. Every time there's a new guy who doesn't know Spanish, I'll mm -hmm. translate for him. For example, with, with Fahad right now. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the yeah, I'm now. definitely a translator. I think they need, to, they need to put in my contract and you know, pay me a little bit more for <laughs> being translator. <laughs> exactly. I actually have one story, like I was, one of my first uh, months here, you know, I went somewhere and I was getting chicken, you know. As you know, chicken is pollo. But I went to order and I said, can I, uh, puedo? I didn't know Spanish. I said, puedo tener, instead of like pollo, I said, polla. And they looked at me like, what? what? You know, you know what polla is, right? Polla is like, you know. Cock. Yeah, cock. basically. <laughs> and I said it loud and confident too. And I was like, can I have, you know? And they just kind of. They laughed at me, but no, I said I'm not from here, and they kind of they let it go. So that's basically the only thing that kind of that kind of happened. That was bad, actually. I was sweating. I was like, "What did I just say?" Then the guy just came out. Oh, you said that. I was like, "Oh my god." <laughs> yeah, I was. I was actually. But my name is Sha Shaquille at the end instead of Shaquille. So that's because you know my whole family all where all our names end in L. So that's kind of a unique thing we have. There's Wendell, my dad, Michelle, uh, my older brother, Shadell, then me, Shaquel, and then um, Bradel, Tyrell, Denzel, and then is one of them. Siblings you have? I have six, actually. Six. <laughs> it's six. And then one, is, one his name is Brandon because he's a different mom, and his mom was like, you know, I'm not having that. <laughs> so I'm going to name him Brandon. But we joke with them. We say, your name is Brandel. <laughs> so. Well, my first month there, I stayed in a, in a residence, had no friends. Oh, well, actually, I did have mm -hmm. my first week. I didn't say anything to anyone because I was so shy and all that. But good thing I stayed in a residence because if I was in my own apartment at that age, I would have, I don't know, I would have been not exposed to so many people. You know, at least at a residence, I had my own place, but there was all the athletes there and I could, you know, get to know people. So that definitely helped a lot to kind of just feel comfortable, you know, having someone to talk to. One of my closest friends is actually from from that, that residence that I was staying at too, so. But um, yeah, yeah just, just being here, you know, just kind of on your own, it kind of makes you find out who you are, especially, you know, in, in the dark times, so. Oh, uh, Chipotle. <laughs> There's no Chipotle here. That's, absolutely That's the worst. That's the worst. <laughs> but um, yeah, well, Kind of the food too, of course, other than that, you know, my parents, you know, they're Caribbean, they're from Trinidad and Tobago, so they make a lot of good Caribbean food. I have to find a Caribbean food place here, but I haven't found that. But, oh, just kind of sometimes aspects like that, you know, kind of little things you kind of miss about, you know, being home, but, but no, nothing too, nothing too crazy. Point for 
they all, they, every day almost, they all ask me about 50 Cent and if I know these guys and all this stuff, <laughs> if, we're like, if we're like best buddies and, and uh, no, nah, they just, they just feel, they view it as like a different world basically because most of them, they've never been in there to see it on TV, they see the movies and they've never really, you know, been there to see what it's like in person. So, so I'm actually going on vacation and ask me like, you know, different spots in the U.S. whether I would recommend and stuff, so. Of course, of course, man. I mean, yeah, Atlanta too, New York, Los Angeles, you know, big places like that. But, um, but yeah, it's, just, it's like a different world to them, you know, and they kind of, they, they like, they want to experience it, you know, so they ask me, what, stuff like that, so. That's a good question too. Actually, when I first came here, when you think of Spanish League, you kind of think of, you know, not as physical and not as, you know, demanding, but, you know, playing in the lower leagues, it kind of, it's kind of different type of vibe, especially playing with the Philly out with the, with the second team, you know. Most of us are young guys and then you play against, you know, grown men, you know, so they kick you and, you know, they're fighting to get, you know, promoted to the second division. So, so yeah, the lower league definitely, definitely helped me a lot. Some plays you can't take off, you know, if you take off, you know, you will, they'll score or just an example like that, you know. And, so going to be, you can probably get away with this or get away with that because, you know, on an average day, maybe you're good, but here it's, you can get punished. So just, just kind of being, kind of being concentrated the whole game, you know, being, being metido, like we said. So I, like, I'm, I think in Spanish sometimes, so sometimes I have to, you know, translate, but, but no, but no, I think in that, <laughs> in that aspect, yeah, it's just, it's definitely, it's, it's, it's crazy, so. Well, first I want to thank Coach Muniz for, you know, giving, that, giving me the opportunity, first of all. He instilled a lot of confidence in me, you know, he's like, Shaq, just play, do what you always do, do what you do in training, and, and you'll be fine. And, um, but yeah, there's definitely, definitely a lot of nerves, and um, making my debut in, in Copa, I had a good guy on my side too. So, so um, yeah, it was definitely, you know, a learning experience as well, and um, I'm glad it had to happen sooner or later, and I knew I was, was going to be ready for it, so. And definitely, of course, Segunda B, Segunda, well, I didn't pass through Segunda, but all those steps will help, you know, help the player. Oh, uh, I love Yaya Toure before when I used to play in the midfield a little bit, Ronaldinho, of course, Messi. It was actually starstruck when I actually played against him, by the way. That was crazy. It was, it was crazy. I kind of, in the warm up, when I saw them warm up, that's when I kind of hit me. I was like, wow, I'm going to play against these guys. <laughs> And, uh, but yeah, after the first couple of minutes, you kind of realize that, okay, they're, they're people too, you know, you can, you know, compete just like them. And, uh, but yeah, that was definitely, that was definitely kind of starstruck. All the YouTube video I used to watch just popped in my head when I saw Messi right there. So, <laughs> but that was definitely, you know, a good experience. It's tougher, actually, because this guy doesn't let you breathe, you know, it's just, it's just, he's just coming at you every time he gets the ball, he like, he wants to like kill you, you know? <laughs> I knew I had to, you know, be on my toes, like, you know, all the time. He actually scored, like, the last goal, like, a nutmeg between my leg, but... I mean, he does that to everyone, so I can't really complain, but... No, nah, he's, 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 like, a world-class player, for sure, and, and quick, he has everything, you know, it's definitely one of... For me, the best, the best in the world right now. Yeah, they, in that aspect, I think, I think U.S. maybe have to take a little, a little stride, because... For example, if we play bad, then they kind of they kind of let us know about it too. You know, you you walk out in the street and someone recognizes you, and they kind of let you know. Like, like I went to the movies yesterday, and a guy saw me. He's like, "Shaq, you know, pick it up, you know, Levante, that that." It was crazy. I was like, "Wow, that would never happen in the U.S." I don't think maybe not for soccer, maybe another sport, but but yeah, it kind of just kind of makes you feel like okay, I gotta I gotta pick it up. I have to bring it bring it every day because these these fans they pay their good money, and you want to kind of you know. Put, a, put in a good display for them. So in that aspect, I think, yeah, it's, it's definitely good to kind of have that type of... Exactly, it's like a little club, a small club, club humilde, like we say. And um, yeah, we, we want to be a, t a team that we know, like a, like a A bar, a small team, but they fight and, and um, they, stay, they stay in La Liga. That's kind of what we kind of want to do. From 10 to 12.30 when I'm here, soccer. After that, I try to stay away from soccer as much as possible. <laughs> because if not, you can kind of get kind of, how do you say it? Kind of too much into it, and then mentally you can kind of just get tired sometimes. You know, that happened to me last year, actually. Like when I didn't go home, I stayed here, and at the end of the, end of the, end of the season, I kind of felt like I was kind of tired, not physically, but mentally. I was like, a lot of stuff got to me a little bit more and stuff like that, so, so when, I'm on, when I'm on the field, I play after that, 
I just kind of leave it there. I do play FIFA. <laughs> I actually play with my sucker. This is the first year that I'm actually in FIFA, which is pretty right. cool. So I score like hat tricks with myself is like every game. Now? It's very. I remember being a kid playing, you know, FIFA yeah. with my brothers and stuff, but never really thought I would, I would actually be in FIFA. And it was when I saw myself, and then like I zoomed in on myself, took pictures and everything, and like like my uh like my friends, they sent me like Snapchats and everything. Oh, I'm playing with you in FIFA. That was pretty cool. <laughs> That was pretty cool. I checked my, my, rating, my rating is kind of low. It's like 66 or 67. I got to get that up a little bit. But, but um, yeah, it was definitely surreal kind of seeing myself. Yeah. I like to play 2K too in basketball. I'm a big basketball fan, by the way. Are you a Knicks fan because of Shaq? I'm actually a Miami Heat fan. Oh. When he, play, he played for Miami too. Oh, yeah, he played for Miami too. Big D Wade fan. I'm glad he went back to Miami finally. But um, this year we're kind of, you know, I think they're like like fifth or sixth. So yeah, I think, but yeah, around there, right? So I think we can make a playoffs. How far we go, I don't know, but making a playoffs for us is is good enough, you know. Wayne Wade, yeah, Wayne Wade is back. You know, all the guys decide to leave. LeBron decided to leave. I don't know why. Good Miami weather, but <laughs> but it's all good. <laughs> I'm not sure what, I mean, I know what it is, but the culture and stuff, I'm not really sure, but it's like, basically fires are just like, they spend the whole year, Spanish, well, Valencia people in general, they spend the whole year making these statues, these monuments, all the year making them, and the last day they burn them. <laughs> they burn them, they're like, all that hard work just goes to waste, you know, the whole, the whole year, but that time there's like a lot of like partying and stuff going on too, though, there's like a lot of like little, like little pubs, like with the tents, and there's like a lot of parties going on, like, but no, it's, it's a culture, you know, so I don't really have a problem. I think it's actually like a good time of the year. It's something different. You know, a lot of people from all over the world comes to, you know, watch it. So I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. And this year I'm actually looking forward to it because my brother actually wanted to come and see them. So hopefully, yeah, it will be a good time watching them. There's going to be times where you're just going to want to just throw in the towel and be like, you know, what? I quit. I want to go home. There's going to be tough games where the fans kill you or your coach kills you, I would say just kind of just be mentally tough and prepare yourself before knowing that, okay, it's going to be this, it's going to be that. It's easy, it's easy to say that, but I think if you kind of come prepared knowing what to kind of expect, knowing that it'll be difficult, I think that's better than going and you're saying, wow, I didn't, I didn't expect it to be like this, I want to go. So just mentally, just being ready because you're going to be by yourself, you're going to miss home, if you have a girlfriend, you're going to miss your girlfriend, all that stuff. Just mentally just kind of being strong and knowing that it's, it's for the good of yourself and your future. That was great advice from Shaq right there. It was fantastic to speak to him and we wish him all the best in his career at Levante. Don't forget we also interviewed Liverpool legend Luis Garcia recently so you can see that video on this YouTube channel as well and plenty more in the future. All you need to do is hit that so important subscribe button and enable notifications. Don't forget to give us a follow on Twitter. We are at La Liga Lowdown and also have a listen to our mini pod. All the details are in the description for this video. Have a great week. See you again soon.